Pat Love from Pat's Two Cents. Got a little message for you. Yeah, it's not only for you, it's for me too. Sometimes when God speaks to you and me, it's, it's uh, you know, we don't always hear it because we do get too busy. We get too caught up in the day, the day's activities. But listen to God's heart. I miss my time with you. Those moments together. I want to be with you each day. But it hurts me when you say you're too busy, too busy trying to serve me. But how can you serve me when your spirit's empty? There's a longing in my heart, wanting more than just a part of you. It's true, I miss my time with you. We don't realize how much God misses us. You know, when you look at parents that have kids, we think the kids really need the parents. We don't get how much the parents need the kids. God created us for fellowship. He created us for a two-way mutual relationship where love comes from him to us. Our love goes to him. We worship. We spend time with him. We can sit, laugh, and joke with him. It doesn't have to be a serious, in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't have to be somber and, and melancholy. You could be talking to the Lord, Lord, I can't believe that happened today. You must have been laughing too. That cracked me up. Friendship, relationship, casual, sophisticated, formal, whatever. He wants to hear from you and me. And we are oftentimes too guilty, too busy to be bothered. Just as insensitive to the knock on our heart's door. God standing at the door knocking, steadily knocking, and we're steadily busy doing whatever we get caught up in. That's sad because you let a man call you girlfriend or you let a sister, a fox, call you brother man and you will drop it all and run. You know it. I've done it. You've done it. Some of y'all are still doing it. Even though God says, have no other gods before me. Yeah, we got a slew of them, don't we? You can ring my bell, bell, bell. Ring my bell. I'm making it silly, but that's about how ridiculous we are. Yeah. Ring my bell, baby. I'll come running. <laughs> Just tell me what you want. Mm -hmm. And God? <laughs> I don't know what it is about us with the Lord. And I mean, we are all guilty of it. I, some of you so-called prayer warriors are guilty of it too. I don't know what it is. Maybe because he's invisible. Maybe that's what it is. But I am telling you, he is the easiest, the easiest to ignore. And he should be the hardest to ignore. We should hunger and thirst for him so much that he starts showing up in tangible ways. We start experiencing the supernatural God. We start experiencing his glory, his presence. I remember a friend of mine was playing the piano. This was cute. Because she spent a lot of time with God, right? And she's playing the piano for a worship service. And she looks out and she said, all I could see was clouds. 
It was just so beautiful. The sparkly mist was over everyone's head. And she said, and here I was stuck at the piano and I was wishing I could get up under that cloud of God's glory. Well, here's the cute part. When the service was over, and she mentioned that to some of the people in the service, they told her, the cloud started over your head. It was over you before it even came over the congregation. So we don't realize how close we are to God when we spend time with him. And we don't have to spend ugabs of time. But the hunger in your soul, you don't have to put a clock on it. The hunger on your in your soul will draw God close to you. He shows up when he feels hunger. He shows up when we have a, a strong appetite for his presence, when we want a fellowship with him in a big way. We feel his presence because he shows up where there is hunger. Are you hungry for him? Or is he something you can take or leave? Yeah, yeah, here today, gone tomorrow, no big deal. How do you feel about God? Do you want him? Do you really want him? Do you really want to spend time with him the way he wants to spend time with you? Yeah. And if the answer is no, be honest and ask God to help you by putting the hunger where it is not. God will help you. God bless you.